There he is. Hooked up. Nah, it's not that big. But we started throwing an A-rig style deal here, and that's the first bite we had on it. And it didn't take long, it was right off the bat. We're gonna see if we can do something with this. It's perfect conditions, it's cloudy, windy, post front. Not that the post front's perfect, but the wind and everything's perfect right now. So we'll see if we can get some more on that. <clears throat> Throwing a three and a half inch. Berkeley Havoc Grass Pig. It's probably my favorite bait for the umbrella rig style stuff. So I don't care when I'm out here fun fishing. I'm not too proud to not to, to throw an A-Rig. I mean, it's it's a fun bite. They hit it as hard as they hit anything else or harder. Definitely into throwing it when they're biting it. There he is. Got him. Yep, they're starting to bite the rig for sure. Oh, just had another one hit it right at the boat. Come on. Look at all that stuff they're throwing up, man. Everywhere. It's that time of year. Water temp's cooling down. Transitioning into almost late fall now, and they're feeding up on all the bait. You can see it. Everywhere they're throwing it out in the water. I'm stepping on some. I'm getting it all over my boat. But that's when the rig shines. Well, at one, uh, we had that last one had one break us off now we're down to four wires i've got another rig here and one more bait five is better than four so i'm uh re-rigging these grass pigs and gonna get back to five and gonna catch another one here pretty quick i got a feeling i think they're gonna be biting it really well today i'm doing four eighth ounce heads and one quarter ounce head that's what's working the best but if I was wanting to fish deeper, I would definitely have, you know, all quarters or a few quarters and three eighths on there. Uh, 17 pound trialene, 100% fluorocarbon on this. I'm just tying that San Diego jam knot. It's one I tie, you know, a lot of times. It's quick and good, fast, strong. You know, I don't break it hardly ever at all, really. You can tell that the wind is really picking up and this is when this is when I think conditions are perfect for the umbrella style rigs. Uh, you know, they see a lot of them now, but when it gets this windy, it doesn't matter how many they've seen. Uh, they start to get really aggressive. They can't get a great look at the bait or all the baits. So they don't know, you know, that it's a bunch of wires connected and, and they really start getting on it and eating it really good. So anytime you got 15 mile an hour wind or more, cooler temps, you know, like we're starting to get now. Uh, they, it's definitely something that if they allow it in your tournament, or if you're just out fun fishing, you better have it tied on because it's one of the best bites there is. I mean, you can catch, you know, I just like now I had actually had two on at one time and one broke a wire off, probably pulled against it just too hard. Uh, but you can, you know, I've seen guys catch three or four at one time sounds insane but it's actually I've seen it happen several times and I like to try and make you know a good long cast and as I'm reeling it I'm pumping it and kind of letting it burst real quick and then flutter and uh, a lot of times that's when you get those bites they'll come and find it from a long ways and kind of pumping your rod a little bit will get them to actually really commit to it but it, it really is easy to throw you know, you throw it out there and start reeling it in. And we got light heads on right now because we're trying to keep it up near the surface. Um, but if they're down there deeper, you just put, you know, a little bit heavier heads on. You can count it down. And I've fished it effectively all the way down to 30 feet before. So I'd say five to 30 feet is your, your target range with this thing. Depending on where the bait's at and where the fish are. And we're about to make another move. I roll up and hit the hit the prime spot. And if you get bit, you get bit. If you don't, go hit go hit the you know the next one. The last couple of bites have been in you know probably 20 to 25 feet, but 
we were only fishing the bait probably five feet at most because I mean, fishing it pretty fast near the surface. And they're really just not that deep right now. They, they want to be up in that top 10, 15 feet of water. And, and they'll come, if they're in 20 feet and they see this thing in five feet, as clear as this water is, they will, they'll come that 15 foot difference to eat it. So you can call them a long ways away. All right, as you guys can see, it's getting late. I wish I could stay out here and throw a rig, uh, but we're getting cold and it, it's about time to go in. So I threw the rig today, uh, of course, the three and a half inch grass pig for the bait, seven, six, medium heavy, Villain 2.0, 17 pound Trilene 100% fluorocarbon, and the new Revo X, a $99 reel that threw this bait, or the rig, just awesome all day long. Uh, seven, three to one, a fast one is what we used. And hey, you guys, I appreciate you turn, tuning in to this week's vlog. Don't forget to like, share, and tag a friend for this week's gear giveaway. Uh, Abu and Berkeley will be sponsoring it. They're gonna be giving away some awesome stuff that you don't wanna miss out on. So I got a couple more casts in me, and uh, then we're headed back to the ramp. We'll see you guys next time.